Hey everyone, it's Mark with Launchpad B and I'm coming in today with another ClipChamp.com tutorial. And uh, this one is actually inspired by one of my viewers uh, on the, my YouTube channel uh, that sent me a request and he was basically asking, hey, how do you layer videos on top of one another? He was looking to make a game tutorial where he wanted to put a picture in picture uh, somewhere on the screen and it's kind of similar to what I've done in other videos myself. Uh, and he was having a hard time figuring it out. Now he did eventually figure it out. He did let me know that he figured it out. Uh, but I told him I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial anyways, nice and quick, so that in case you want to use ClipChamp to create a video game tutorial, maybe for a YouTube channel, or if you're a professional and you want to do some kind of a video tutorial walking somebody through software or doing some kind of a task on a computer, you can do that and still overlay your picture. So let's go ahead and uh, go to ClipChamp.com. Okay, so in ClipChamp, I'm going to go ahead and start a whole new project. So I'm just going to select Create a Video from the top left here. Uh, and here's where you're going to select your format. I'm going to go with widescreen is typically what I use, but there are other options available. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to load our file. Now, side note, I was going to do a project a while back where I was going to show you how to link your phone directly to ClipChamp, but I ran into a technical issue. I still haven't been able to solve it. It might be my phone. I'm not going to blame it on the website. I don't know yet. Uh, but I'm hoping to get that result. So now I used my screen capture from Windows. I don't know if you know this, but if you hold down the Windows key and G simultaneously, it'll bring up a recorder that'll record your screen for you. It's really easy to use. So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and select browse files. So I've already got the file where I need it. I'm gonna go ahead and select that file. And we're gonna import it onto our timeline. So it's only two minutes long. And again, this is just an example. Uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna import the file uh, of me doing the narration. So just like we did before, we're gonna go ahead and add media. So if you go in the top left-hand corner here, there is an option that says add media. We've kind of moved a little bit from the first time we imported something. And we're gonna browse files once again, and I'm gonna find the file where I'm talking about my game. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop it into the timeline as well. Now it's only 37 seconds. Uh, here's where the fun happens. You wanna match up your screen capture with your video. Now, my advice will be to use the microphone on your computer if you're recording something, especially if you're using the Windows G option, there is an option to activate the mic on your on your file, uh, and then you can do your voiceover if you're using a secondary camera or whatever you're using, and then you can kind of easily sync them. It doesn't have to be exactly synced, but you can overlay them at the same spots, uh, and then you just mute the audio on the timeline for your game. So for example, uh, if I highlight here, I can go ahead at the top here, it says audio, and I can select it and drop the volume all the way down. Uh, and now my other track has no audio, and it'll just be the audio from the capture device. Uh, on the flip side, if you're using your computer audio, you can do that and then mute the audio on something else, but that's how you mute audio. So let's go ahead and align this where I want it, uh, and I want it to be where I'm actually playing, and I'm gonna align that, uh, and then I'm gonna trim my clip, to trim your clip, you use the scissors that are over here and bang, I have now trimmed the other file. And see how they stay together? That's nice. It's kind of called ripple editing. Very complicated, but we're good. So now what we want to do, um, the way that it works is you have layers. The bottom layer uh, is on the bottom and then anything above it on the timeline goes above. Kind of common sense, but pretty much any software you're using for video editing is the same. So now, that we'll, now what we want to do is we want to reduce the size of this particular image and put it somewhere where it's out of the way. So at the top here, we have an option that says layout. Go ahead and select it and the option is picture in picture. So a call out is I'm using a free version of ClipChamp and picture in picture is a premium option. So you can either upgrade and pay for a license, which isn't a lot of money, or you can just go ahead and use the free version. If you export at 480, you can actually get this feature at no additional cost. So let's select the top left option that says layout. But once you select picture in picture, uh, it's gonna give you the picture. So if you look here in the top right hand side, that is my picture in picture. And I can resize it to whatever I want, place it wherever I want, which is really cool. Uh, and this wasn't always the case. When ClipChamp first offered this feature, you could only put it in set spots and it was a set size. So they have made improvements uh, where you can pretty much put it wherever you want and size it how you want. Just like I'm doing in this video, you can resize it and put it where you want. Uh, once you're happy with that, then you are good. You can continue editing and now you can go to export. Now to show you, since I have the free version, when I click on export, you are now given three different options. 480, again, is a free export and it won't give you a watermark if you export it, even though you're using the picture in picture. If you choose one of the premium options, you've got an annual membership or a monthly membership. And honestly, if you're creating video content regularly or want to use this on a regular basis, $20 a month isn't a huge amount of money. So we're gonna go ahead and export at 480, which is the free version, and let's see how it looks.
So here I am playing my most favorite game in the world, Dota 2. And uh, so clickety clickety, click click, shoot shoot, bang bang, tutorial, telling you how awesome I am at this game. 4D resolution free and I got to use picture in picture. Again, I just, it gave me the option, I selected not to upgrade just yet, and then boom. Um, again, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you want to see any other videos or you're curious how to use ClipChamp or anything in general with recording video or, or do, doing it at a entry level, again, if you're a DIYer and want to learn video, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below so what type of a video you would like to see or what kind of tips you would like to learn and I'll be happy to make more content for you. Thanks for watching.